Hey everyone, this is Shalini Joshi Amdagni and in this video I'm just reflecting on goals and dreams and the journey of becoming. So I was taking a break in my balcony and uh, just you know finishing up a chapter uh, in a book that I'm uh, chapter of the book that I'm writing and. Uh, I was just sitting here uh, having a quiet time and I was reflecting on the conversations that I've been having with friends and colleagues and, and this whole idea about goals and uh, projects that are on pause and goals that are on pause because of this coronavirus pandemic and uh, you know there's no progress happening and so people are feeling stuck. And as I sat reflecting about it, I thought, you know, that as we move through life, we will always have some goal and some dream and some wishes that we are moving toward. But our, you know, our life is not about those ticking off those goals goal number one goal number two goal number three because there'll always be a goal you know whether you are 40 years old 50 years old whether you become a grandmother whether you're a person who stays at home or is out there in the field or in working in offices we'll always have goals and something to work towards but as we you know move towards this goal and this goal and this goal and this goal the bigger goal or let's say the the other goal is about who we are becoming, right? Because when you go for this goal, then you are overcoming certain challenges. You're, you're, you're letting go of ego. You are, you know, letting go of limiting beliefs that have been holding you back to get to this goal. And then another goal pops up in your life after the pandemic. Uh, and, and that challenges you in different ways. So as we go through these different goals, it's also about the goal of becoming more than who we are in this moment in time. And so, you know, I was thinking about what if you can stop uh, just talking to myself and saying, what if you can stop being so hung up on not being able to get to this goal uh, as planned or not to being able to go uh, get to the other goal that you had, uh, you know, planned and because I truly believe that there are no random moments in the universe like this is not a random thing that we, we are going through this pandemic that the entire world is on a pause that's not a random thing right that's that's it's 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 the universe is intelligent it's it's divine consciousness and so there is no randomness that we are all you know in this together and on a pause and I was also thinking about uh, I'm, a, I'm a meditator and I do transcendental meditation and uh, the founder of the TM Maharishi Mahesh Yogi talks about that our essential nature has two qualities one of them is dynamism and one of them is silence so silence and dynamism is our essential nature which means that we have this part of us that is active and doing and you know uh, creating but then equally important is this part of us that is silence and it's an equal contributor to progress to getting to wherever you want so it's silence and dynamism and and I feel like we are always on this dynamic uh, part of ourselves where we are doing and action and moving and, you know, uh, just outward focused all the time and not being with ourselves, not being in silence. Because, you know, we've heard it, you've heard it, I've heard it a million times that, you know, stillness and silence is where all the answers lie. But also, stillness and silence gives us an opportunity to really look at ourselves right and say 
apart from reaching this goal to write the book and apart from reaching this goal to get this project going am i also on track to becoming who i really am am i also making progress in letting go in peeling away those false layers and becoming more and more and more uh, closer to the truth of me which is pure love no judgments and all of those wonderful qualities that you would associate with you know uh, the universe the source and so there are different goals that we are reaching and this pause is also I feel like the pause has a purpose right obviously and it's also helping us towards that longer goal of becoming the truth of who we really are awakening to the truth of who we really are and so this pause is also a time to reflect on that and letting go of what's no longer serving us the same ways of judging people the same ways of you know disrespecting people i realize you know a lot of people are becoming aware and, and we're having discussions how like a guard and a person who cleans the road and a person who is uh, you know working as a house helper is equally important in the in the in this game of life and are you uh, seeing that are you are you being able to see that their value their life has equal value or even the the, the, the insects the you know the, the animals of this planet that we're not just you know here to dominate the planet that there are other lives and so I feel like by becoming more sensitive to all these issues we are becoming more of who we truly are kindness and compassion and all of that good stuff so this is all this rampage <laughs> about reflecting about goals i i don't know if you resonate with this but this is what i was reflecting on and really realizing that this pause is so significant if we choose to uh, really ponder and reflect we could also take it lightly and just wait for the gates to open and move in the way we were always moving in but here's a, you know some food for thought which I, I think you're already reflecting on it I just wanted to share my two cents and I hope it helps in some way I'll see you in another video bye guys